Oh boy, we're out of the double. We're out of the double there, guys. Yeah, you get it, guys. What is up? Good morning, my adventure crew. Nick Morris here. Welcome to another episode of Real Adventures Hawaii. If it's your first time here, welcome aboard. If you're coming back, welcome back aboard. Today, we have Ninja Henry and Monster Matt. Whoa, first I'll see Monster Matt. Monster Matt. It's a little, it's a little spoiled today. Working on our sea legs today. The weather man was off. It's supposed to be like lighter winds, but it's it's a little choppy. So we're gonna our lines. We're gonna put them there. Uh, oh. Seven inch blue snow globe. Seven inch blue snow globe. On the other rigger. We redid the leader on it. The leader got messed up last week. And then we're gonna run a nine inch blue jet center. And oh, the new one. And we got a new one. Give us a thumbs up if you guys want to see an ahi bite this thing today. <laughs> got that one. And another new one, another blue, another one on the boat. I just scared it for myself. So we get these guys rigged up. We're going to go down see if them set up. And uh, I don't know. It's blowing though. It's uglier than it's supposed to be, but whatever. Now I'm going to give you some gas, Matt. I almost forgot one of the most important things. The Spam Musubi. For the sea guys. You wanna get something, you have to give something. So this will be our, our thing for him. And hopefully he uh, gets us some fish. So always for the good luck. Always gotta get the Spam Musubi. Place the thing Spam Musubi. <laughs> I'm trying to take a bite. No way. All right, so Spam Musubi has been deployed. Thumbs up for good luck. Uh, if you're new here, we post new videos every Sunday, 7 p.m. Hawaii time. But it's sporting today. It's a little sporting. All right, let's go find ourselves some fish. Can I see my ex, boy? All the guys out here. I'll mark you much on the recorder. Apparently, we can only talk to you guys when down sea. Because obviously it's wet and it's a little windy. Can take about a mile to where I'm looking. Yeah, yeah. The wet is real good. Okay, hold on. Stabilizing binoculars are worth the money. So I'm going to burp out about a mile and a half away. Without binoculars, you're going to be able to see those birds, that's, that's for sure. So, great investment for sure. See you guys at the bird pile. It's about 1 o'clock. We're 20 miles from the harbor. And we can't find a single bird pile to save our life today. It's like all over and it's terrible. No bird piles at all today. I don't know. Every week they've been here. Went outside in the 30s and looked. Nothing came inside and looked. Nothing. So now we're driving up towards Kanyeoi side, the east side of the island. A little bad side, but pretty bad so far. Found two big rubbishes, but they're both empty. So keep going. Hopefully, get something soon. Never give up. Never give up. You like catch fish? Never give up. If you're a fisherman, you give up. If you're a fisherman, you never give up. So never give up and go and sit on the couch. All right, we're gonna find you guys something shortly. Never give up. Trust me. If you didn't know, we like to mess with Henry. Like, we really like to mess with Henry. That's like our favorite thing in the whole to do is mess with Henry. Uh, it's the prank Henry. That's like our most favorite thing to do. Today, we're gonna get him the bucket. We're gonna get him the bucket today. Hopefully, we can pull it off. We have him in the binals. We gotta make sure he's watching the binals. So, we're gonna do the bucket. We're gonna pull in the line real stealthy, like, Matt's gonna keep on busy on the binoculars looking forward. I'm gonna throw the bucket in the water. I'm gonna run the fire bridge, turn the fire bridge, but hopefully by the time the slack catches up, the bucket's down and it slams. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. So here we go. Thumbs up for good luck. If you like it, we prank Henry. Here goes the setup. Okay, no way. Come on, Henry. 
Huh? I see the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he saw the bucket! <laughs> oh, we ended up tangling everything! <laughs> We're not done with him yet. We're not done with him yet. Right, first bird pile of the day. We finally found a bird pile. It's about 3 o'clock. See if we can get lucky. The only thing we got so far is trying to prank Henry. Didn't work out too well. As you guys saw, a tingle tangle. But, bird pile, what are the You know, you want to change out it. I saw him busting one time now. Yeah, yeah. You got it! You got it! You got to kneel down too. It's late. We're coming up to a bird pile right now. This might be our last cool out bird pile today. We didn't find a whole lot of bird piles, but all looks good, so. See if we get some kind of bite, see if we get something. See you guys soon. Thumbs up for good luck, boys and girls. Sit down? Yeah. What was it? Oh my my? Hope it's cool. My my missed a short corner. Scoop. Oh! Air show! Air show! I just fell on that. Get back in my lure again! No way, wash, we got my my. Big one. Tried the bait, but there's no those coming around. <laughs> Alright, let's see the hook out of this back here. So it looks my chance to survive. Hold tight that way. You got the cuggy? I got in a Charlie teaser, but there's no other my my is around. That's how you see the white wash right there. <laughs> it's a big one. It's a big one. Oh, yeah. Nice, my, my. Nice call. That's a nice one. It's a pack from the six. Huh? Maybe even 28. A big one. 28. That's a big one. Okay. Deal for now. That works. All right. You're going to save the day. Last minute, my, my. All right. I think we still got a chance for more. He came back here for that, that scoop, yeah? He missed the scoop the first time. A little while later, somebody came in and hit him again. So I don't know if that was the same my mind, but they wanted that scoop. Nine inch blind scoop. Probably blind, no disrespect to him as blind, but there's no eye on it, so. Nine inch blind scoop. All right, let's sit back up. We just got that my mind in the boat. Like I told you guys, never give up. Fishing never give up. It's five o'clock already. Oh, we got 13 miles to go. Not giving up yet. Something my mind though. It's a good size one. So, we're gonna keep going and see if we get lucky one more time. I don't know. It's not dark yet. While the sun is up, we got a chance. All it does is take one string to turn your day from zero to hero. So remember that, never give up. Right, Matt? Never give up. Never give up. <laughs> the dream is still alive. <laughs> it's not over yet. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, everyone wants to see something. Go ahead, Jerry. <laughs> Just say it loud, Herb, so I hear you. I'd like to take credit for that bird pile that I found. <laughs> this guy's no. an individual, you see that? It's a team effort, I had to drive. That was to get that. 
But Henry's like, that's my bird ball. I found that bird ball. This is his town guys. So. All day from there. <laughs> Ain't find nothing. <laughs> yeah, Henry did find that bird ball. So give Henry a thumbs up and say thanks, Henry, in the comments. <laughs> thanks, Henry. <laughs> 20 minutes later. Dope is what he told him. It's live. Henry, hurry up for the night. The eye's busting. Henry, hurry up. Ready for us, Henry. Come up. Let's go. Henry is porpoise. Henry is porpoise, Henry. Henry is porpoise, Henry. Henry is porpoise. <laughs> 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 Alright, our lines are clear. We'll see you guys in the harbor. So, what is it? We're back at home, guys. We got the Mai Mai on the scale. Let you guys guess how big you think it is. I said 28.6. And it came in at. Well, it's 28.3. Well, 28.4, but it's 28.3. I touched it. So, 28.3. Definitely a big Mai Mai. We're going to see Matt's. That's cutting skills right now. Chop, chop. I usually to cut this meat out, but since we're going to give this to a fr family friend, I'm going to leave this meat right here. This Mai Mai was only bled so far. It wasn't uh, gilded gutted. I already gill him, got him, but we didn't gill him, got this one. Well, it is like a big molola or something in the belly. For real? Yeah. Oh, we're going to check that out then. Yep. Alright, there's something big in there. Huh? Yep. It's just a molola. Yeah. Yep. Guarantees a molola. Guaranteed. But anyway, before I continue that, we'll just fillet the, we'll just fillet the fish. We'll fillet the fish and we'll come back to the we'll belly. We'll that. And we'll just grab this right here. So if it does it de or it detaches or not, we'll just grab it. There you go. Oh god. There you go. Well, that was, you know, when I used to catch them this big map. Yep. Apparently the skin on the skin on these bigger ones are a lot tougher. A lot tougher. So in theory, you just want to rip it one time. There we go. If you guys don't like, if you guys waste this, you guys don't know what you guys are missing out on. How do you make it? You just fry it. I'll either fry, I'll either fry it or I'm Filipino, so I like adobo. Oh, you make adobo? I make adobo. It's it. good. He'll thank me later. <laughs> so good stuff right there. Like I said, we didn't get and gut it. We bled it. So hopefully, there's no blend. Looks like there's no blend in the meat. Yeah. Hopefully. The, the, meat, look, the meat looks good. Yeah. And with these these types of fish, I find it easier to make the in the, the incisions on both sides. The pre cuts on both sides easier. Find it easier when you take it off the that center bone. Is that little hard rib bone that's connected right there? So we just. Tap the knife like that. So we just ride the knife along the rib bones all the way down till you get that cut. A little bit of bone right there, but we'll cut that out it just like that. You have it one side. Hardly any blood in the fillet, if you can see it. 
A little blood right there, but pretty much no blood in it. And that's why it's key to bleed your fish. You want nice fish, bleed your fish. So we'll do the same thing to the other side. But this side, the rib bones came off with it. So I just put it off. It's a clean cut though. And that's a filet. This is how you fillet clean. Look, it's hardly any meat left on the bone. That's how you did a clean job. All the meat's on the fillet. And that's what you want. Just show them the other side too. Okay, we'll see through this fish. Alright, so I said, uh, let's clean this up, get bagged, and I will show you what's in the in the my belly. I know you guys want to see that. I'm pretty sure it's a Malolo. I think so. I'm pretty sure too. If you guys don't know what a Malolo is, we'll show you. So we're going to take out the gills, but someone wants to head, so we're going to take out the gills now. So we can give them the, the head without gills in it. It's a messy chore. So the pound's a trash this, but somebody wanted it, so. We're being nice and clean. Nothing, yeah, we're being nice and clean. Nothing's going to waste. Oh, put it all out. Nice. Put that on the Let's put that on after. There's definitely a Malolo or something there. Yeah. There's a lot of meat left on the bone. Oh, not on the bone, but in the throat and the head area. All the meat comes this, off this, right? This is a mahi heart right there, guys. It's a small heart. For, for how big this fish is, look how small that heart is. Oh, well. There you go. Found out. Okay. Put that side. So we're gonna save this head for somebody to eat. They're gonna make soup with it. And they're trashing the rest of this stuff. You guys see me slurp that? Yeah, they wanna see slurping that. Come on. You think so? Yeah, come on, Matt. That's it. I have to get like 10 thumbs up first. 10 thumbs up, and then we'll, I'll slurp this. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, we only have like 3 thumbs up. We'll okay. 10 thumbs up, guys. Oh, all right, all right. 10 thumbs up to slurp, slurp the Mayu Mero. Okay, we got 10 now. All right. Not bad. Ugh, that was gross. Ugh. That's nasty. It's a little salty. Ugh. But I am Filipino, guys. That was some throat lotion right there. Ugh. Oh, yes. <laughs> Real nice on the throat, guys. Oh, that was gross. <laughs> <laughs> there's some stuff out there. There's some stuff. There's, eh, not so much. Not so much. There's some stuff out there. There's some stuff I won't do. And that right there was the not so much. I won't really. No, nah, no, nah, not bone marrow. That's not my style. Nick's not man enough, guys. Ah, I'm good. <laughs> All right, here's the treat. What do you guys? What do you guys think? Think he's in his belly? We're in the comments below. What you guys think he's in his belly? I think it's an amalolo. I should put it outside. Keep yeah. the juice away from the head. So, let's see what it is. Yeah, I got the amalolo. It's too big. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. Yeah, some awesome little big ass, Malo. big eye. How many the eyes? Oh, that's a big Malo. He got it, dude. He got it. Oh, that's a meal and a half. Look at that. What is he got in there? Little fish. Is that a big one? But that's why with the fishing lures, you make them with really, really big eyes on the heads. Cause look how big that eye suck is on the Malolo. Oh, mm. this thing's been decomposing for a couple days for sure. Like big Malolo. Big Malolo. So the my mind, they eat like a lot of rubbish stuff. They hang on by rubbish, so it's not as cool to open them once in a while. You want to see, make sure you don't see plastics in the fish, you know what I mean? I don't really see any plastics in this fish. There may be really small microplastics, but there's nothing in there. So, and that is how we clean uh, Mahi Mahi. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hello. It's not dark yet. While the sun is up, we got a chance. All it does is take one strike to turn your day from hero to zero. From, uh, from hero to zero. All it does is take one strike to turn your day from here from All it does is take one strike to turn your day from zero to hero. So remember that, never give up. Right Matt, never give up. Never give up. <laughs> what about the fisherman? He wants his fish from the sea. The water's too murky, too hard to see. And the farmer man, he wants to plant his colour. The Lord is dry and